An American woman once said, The first time I have ever heard the word Islam was when I was watching a television program, so I laughed at the information that I heard about Islam due to our lying media. A year later, after hearing the words, I heard it again in the hospital I work at. A Muslim couple came in with an old woman accompanying them. I noticed extreme signs of worry and concern on the wife for the sick old woman. Out of curiosity, I asked her as to why she was sad. She then told me that she came from another country with her husband who brought his mother searching for a cure to her terminal illness. The woman was talking to me why she was crying and praying that her mother-in-law gets well. I was very amazed at her. She came from a faraway country with her husband who is trying to cure his mother. I remembered my mother and said to myself, where do we stand from these people? I gave my mother a perfume bottle as a gift for Mother's Day and never thought thought about visiting her since then, this was just my mother. What if it was my mother-in-law? I was amazed at this married couple especially since the mother's condition was tough and is closer to death than life. What amazed me even more was the wife. What is in it for her to strain herself for her mother-in-law's sake and she is still a young beautiful lady. Nothing was on my mind but the subject I imagined myself in the mother's shed on how happy would I have been, what a lucky old lady. The couple were always sitting by her side, they were also getting international phone calls from their friends and relatives asking about their mother's health and well-being. One Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkar wal baghy ya'idhukum la'annakum tadhakkarun day I entered the waiting room and I found the wife sitting alone so I took my chance and asked her about why does she care so much about her mother-in-law then she told me a lot about parents rights in Islam I was amazed at what extent Islam had been respecting parents and how to treat them days later the old lady had died her son and his wife cried intensively as if they were little kids and i kept thinking about the couple and what i have learned about parents rights in islam i then sent to one of the islamic centers a request to get a book about the parents right in islam and when i read i was amazed at this religion after that i lived in beautiful dreams dreaming that i was a mother and had children who loved me and always asked me about me and being nice to me until Till the last moment of my life, these beautiful dreams made me announce myself as a Muslim without knowing anything about Islam except its parents' rights. How beautiful and great this religion is and thank Allah for making me a Muslim. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا